at the Mitchell Courthouse in downtown Baltimore, suspected killer Jason Billingsley in court Thursday with a fight to suppress a statement that prosecutors say he made to police. Moments after the ruling, Fox 45 capturing exclusive video of Billingsley leaving the courthouse. At issue, whether Billingsley understood his constitutional protections, such as his right to remain silent and have an attorney present, known as the Miranda rights, during his initial questioning. His defense attorney arguing in court that after Billingsley's arrest back in September and once taken to police headquarters, Billingsley wasn't properly Mirandized. The state argued there was absolutely no ambiguity during the police interrogation in question. Brandon Mead. Um, it must be done while the suspect is in custody. A defense attorney at Mead Law, not connected to the case, but weighs in on the latest developments. The reality is most police officers know what they're doing. And it's very rare that you get a statement that's given without proper, proper Mirandization. Um, but it does happen. But after about two hours of hearing from both sides and viewing video of the police interrogation in question, Judge Robert Taylor denied the motion to suppress the statement. We didn't hear what statement the defense attempted to have thrown out. But back in September, at a bond hearing for Billingsley, prosecutors claimed that, quote, he did give a statement indicating that he did beat the victim with a brick and his hands. Billingsley is accused of killing Baltimore Tech CEO Pava LaPere, murdered at her apartment in Mount Vernon just days after the attempted murder, rape, and arson involving a couple inside their home in West Baltimore. Both cases tragic, with LaPere's case in particular resonating across the city. It's a pretty horrific uh, set of circumstances that led to her unfortunate demise. And it's, it's you know, my, my wife works there, right there in Mount Vernon, and it, it hit home for a lot of people. Well, Billingsley's trial for the LaPere case is still scheduled for the end of August. Prosecutors have said they will seek a sentence of life without the possibility of parole for Billingsley if he's convicted. In the studio, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.